Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And this time of year for us as United Methodist in the Virginia Conference is also sometimes a really hectic time of year. It's charge conference year. It's a once a year big business meeting type thing that has really slowly, thankfully, been whittled down to just a kind of almost a conversation with our district superintendent, uh, the person who's uh, above local, uh, pastors who are appointed to local churches. And so this year at that event, uh, we have begun a new district called the Living Waters District, and the DS shared about specifically uh, the woman at the well story. You, you probably remember the story, the Samaritan woman. Jesus is traveling through Samaria, and there's a woman there in the middle of the day, and she's going to get water. And Jesus tells her, asks her for water, which shocks her because when he's male and he's talking to a woman, and the other thing is that she feels very unworthy because of who she is. And they have this conversation, and eventually Jesus tells her that if you knew who you spoke to, you would ask me for water. It'd be living waters. We're called to be living waters. We're called to drink of living waters, waters that never end. Living waters are waters that move and flow through the community. Living waters are waters that change. And during the presentation, the DS shared how uh, the woman leaves her empty jar at the well and goes and tells her whole community about this rabbi that traveled through it and, and Jesus comes and hangs out with them. We are called to share in this water, to share in the water by partaking of the living waters, but also to share the water, to share what we have received. I, one of the biggest problems in Christianity today, one of the biggest problems, the reasons that, that our, our nation is struggling and, and faith seems to be in decline is that people don't know how to share what they received. And maybe it's that they haven't quite received it or, or, or they haven't got excited about what, what God is doing in their lives. Remember, it's about love and mercy and compassion. When we share, we're not sharing a, a story that most people hear or think the church is going to share, which is, you are damned to hell and judgment and all that stuff. No, we're called to share living waters. Living waters is, is something that tastes good, that ex brings life to us, that excites us. It's no wonder that the Irish called whiskey living waters, iskabaha. It was something that they enjoyed, something that invigorated them, something that they saw as life-giving. We are called to be that. We're called to be life-giving waters, exciting waters, wonderful waters of life. Have you taken your empty jar to Jesus? Have you left it there? And have you become a container that contains that compassion and mercy and love and excitement so that you can share it with others? I want to encourage you today to say that as a prayer. God, I'm bringing you my emptiness. God, fill me. Fill me with the waters that quench not just my thirst, but help me quench the thirst of others. Through your love, your power, your grace. Through you, Lord Jesus. Amen.